Hello, I'm Mike Davis, scientist and science educator. I'm here with the eighth video in our series on the CPS Chemical Hygiene and Safety Plan, Hazard Monitoring. The Chemical Hygiene and Safety Plan is designed to minimize student and employee exposure to hazardous chemicals while working in the science lab. However, a plan must be in place to deal with exposures if they do occur. CPS has prepared an emergency plan manual for all schools, which includes a section on the release of hazardous compounds. Despite our best efforts, emergencies may occur due to a spill, a leak, or something completely unforeseen. An emergency situation is any event that involves a life-threatening safety, health, or environmental concern that could affect your students, the staff, or the building itself. Effectively handling an emergency requires a lot of expertise, and there is no time for on-the-job training. It's a good idea to be prepared. The first thing to do in the event of an emergency is call 911. You should also call the 24-hour Student Safety Center at 773-553-3335. It's important to provide the medical personnel with certain information. This includes the identity of the chemical, a description of the way the exposure took place, and a description of the symptoms the individual has been experiencing. The MSDS would be a good resource in this case. Before emergency responders arrive, it may be necessary to evacuate the space or the building. This would be the decision of the incident commander specified by your school's emergency plan. After the emergency situation has been handled, remember to have your principal report the incident in the board incident reporting system. Small spills, less than a pound or so, may be handled by school personnel provided the material is known and labeled and the MSDS does not indicate any hazards. All waste must be placed in a proper container and disposed of according to Chemical Waste Management Guidelines in Chapter 9 of the CHSP. Remember, most of this plan is about minimizing risk by reducing exposure. Be prepared in case an emergency occurs. Assess the situation and proceed accordingly. For more information, refer to Chapters 3 and 8 in the Chemical Hygiene and Safety Plan. Thanks for watching.